and welcome to day two of Advent in a Bag. So yesterday we met Mary and we made the first link of our paper chain where we discovered that Mary was going to have a very, very special baby. Now today we're going to meet a different woman. Now her name is Elizabeth and a little bit of backstory about Elizabeth. She was really old, really old. Now Elizabeth's husband, Zachariah, was promised that they were going to have a baby. Now, Elizabeth was really old, but God kept his promise. And Elizabeth was going to have a baby, which is really exciting. Um, now, one day, Mary went to visit Elizabeth. They were pals. So she went to visit Elizabeth and the baby that was in Elizabeth's tummy jumped for joy because it was in the presence, it was in the same room as Jesus which is, just shows us how special Jesus was. Now, we can see here that God kept his promise to Elizabeth and Zachariah by giving them their baby. And so we can know that God keeps his promises always. So when he promised Mary that Jesus was going to be a special baby, he was going to be a special baby. And so we can know that God always keeps his promises and is always with us. Right, so yesterday we made the first link of our paper chain. And now we're going to make the second link of our paper chain. So everyone needs to find their bag that's got a number two on it and take out the verse. So today's verse is, Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfil her his promises to her. Because we know that God fulfils his promises and that's such an exciting Christmas truth. So now you need to take your first paper chain. This is a little bit fiddly. Put the first one through it. So you've got another link. Then use your sellotape or glue, whatever you've got, and sellotape those together. And then we'll have a whole link of truths. So then you need to get your bag. And we're going to go downstairs and do some craft. Okay, so we're going to do um, some craft now. Hope you're excited about this. So Mary went to visit Elizabeth um, and Elizabeth showed her hospitality, um, which means giving her something to eat or drink um, and sit down. Unfortunately, um, we can't do that with each other at the moment. We can't go into each other's houses, um, but we could go and visit or we could give a present and um, we could stand at the doorstep and chat. So what I thought we'd do is perhaps make something that we can give to somebody today. So in your bag, you're gonna find some chocolate and you're gonna find some cereal and some cake cases. So we're going to make some crispy cakes. Um, you need a bowl and perhaps you might need an adult to help you with this. Um, we're going to melt some chocolate. So break up your chocolate, put it into the bowl. Um, I melted this in the microwave, took about 20 seconds, um, but you could do it over a pan of hot water if, uh, if you haven't got a microwave and that's a bit easier. So you want to melt it so it's all runny and then we're going to open the cereal and we're going to pour it in. Then you give it a really big stir around. It doesn't look like there's very much chocolate in there, but it's surprising if you keep stirring how much it coats all the cereal. So keep stirring round and round and round. And then when you think that you've covered it all, what we're gonna do is to put a spoon, a spoonful of it into a cake case. I'm sure you've done this before. This is yummy. There we go. Thank you for your help there. <laughs> there we go. I think you've probably got enough here to make four. So that's two for me and two for you. Or we could give two to somebody else. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, right. Okay. So you want to pop these in the fridge for a bit just to let them set and then you can give them to your friends and neighbours. Just like Elizabeth, hospitality of Mary. That's right. <laughs> see, um, hope you had fun doing that and we'll see you tomorrow for day, day three. three.